James Donlin, get up a James! What's up, everyone? My name's James, I'm 24, which means I'm six years from going by Jim, and 16 years from marrying someone I bought. I was raised by a single mom, so I'm not technically a man, I'm like a bitter woman's idea of one, right? Growing up, uh, I was an altar boy for 11 years. And every time someone finds out I was an altar boy, they always have the same question. So no, I was not a bottom. Oh. I was actually more of a power side, you know? It's kind of a hard angle for a little guy to hit. In the Catholic Church, they don't have like bears and twinks. They have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And you want to be the Holy Spirit because he comes in everyone. Oh. I went home recently and my mom had hung up a photo of me on the wall. I'm like, this looks like a shrine because I look like I died in a motorcycle accident in high school. <laughs> I have resting that face. I'm not supposed to be here. I should be in a newspaper article in 2004. That's what I've discovered about myself, right? I have some theories, some opinions. I think sometimes the things that are meant to keep us safe actually just kill us faster, right? Like the Heimlich maneuver, it's kind of a scam, right? Like, oh, that guy's choking on a chicken wing. Let's give him a few broken ribs. Maybe that'll help him out. <laughs> you ever been on an airplane? And in the pre-meeting, uh, stewardess is telling you about all the safety things you have to do. And she's like, in the event of a crash, please put your head between your laps so we can sever your spine immediately upon impact with the seat in front of you. There's <laughs> definitely some insurance fraud in there, I think. The worst is fire escapes. So like, yeah, in the event of a fire, we stapled a jungle gym to the side of the building. <laughs> I hope you watched Cirque du Soleil recently, because you're going to need some of that stuff to get out of there. I've <laughs> been trying to take better care of myself. I've been jogging. I like jogging because it's the only hobby where there's a high chance of finding a dead body. Oh my God. Right? <laughs> I've never been knitting. I've been like, what the hell? How'd that get in there? <laughs> Jogging's also the only hobby where there's a high chance of becoming a dead body, which is kind of less fun, right? But I just call that thinspiration, right? Uh -oh few extra miles in there, get away from the killer, right? <laughs> the reason I put on weight was because I don't own a scale. I just kind of wait for a bouncer or TSA to describe me physically. <laughs> like, oh, right this way, big man. I'm like, big man's bloated today. <laughs> like, sir, we found a bomb in your bag. I'm like, sir, you can pat down whatever you want. <laughs> I want to get old. Getting old sounds fun. I just want to settle into some opinions, you know, really stick to them. Old people love Sticking to those opinions, right? Started writing a fake journal for my kids to find after I die. I think that'll be fun. I put cool stuff in there, like, today I got brunch with Michelle Obama. <laughs> Grandpa was pretty cool. But I put, like, crazy stuff in there, too. You got to sprinkle some crazy stuff in there, right? Like, today I robbed a bank and flushed the money down the toilet <laughs> just to feel alive. I feel bad for old people because technology is pretty intimidating. Like when our grandparents were born, there was a radio and a TV, and now there's internet, and they've had to adapt to learn about the internet. And like, what's gonna be like when I get older? I'm gonna have to call up my grandson and be like, grandson, my sex bot keeps sodomizing me. <laughs> He's gonna show up. He's like, grandpa, that's a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> you gotta be careful, grandpa. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I quit a job last year. Uh, people always want to quit jobs in these big dramatic ways. I just went into work one day, clocked in, and just like, went home. <laughs> Ghost story. I'll live forever. They'll always talk about me like I was a legend. I don't know. But then I went to look for a new job. When you go to look for a new job, old people always tell you the same advice. And it's like the worst advice ever. It's like, you young people, you want to submit an application. You want to send an email. You got to get in there and shake their hand and make eye contact with them and dominate them as a man. It's like, we are not trying to tame tigers here, man. This is a job at Costco. It's a very simple process. I don't know. So I went to find a new job, and I went on Indeed. Indeed doesn't work. Indeed doesn't work. I put in all my qualifications. I looked up serving jobs in New York City. I was like, do you want to be a rat that lives under chilies? <laughs> no, actually, I don't. It's like, how about the mayor of Cincinnati? It's like, I think he's an elected official, actually. Not too sure about that. LinkedIn isn't much better. I went on LinkedIn and someone I went to college with had made a post on LinkedIn. They said, remember, LinkedIn is not a dating site. Who is using LinkedIn as a dating site? <laughs> what would that even look like? <laughs> Hello, Samantha. I see you worked it out back in 2014. I'm hoping to blow out your bag this weekend. 
Guys, I've been James. Thank you so much.